jigs. We're making homemade jigs. Let's do it. All right, guys, welcome back to Choose Your Own Path. I hope everybody's doing great and everybody's safe and everybody's staying healthy. That's the most important part. Um, at home, bad back. Still, I'm on holidays, basically, because uh, I had to take those up, but uh, hey, I'm happy. Look at me. All right, so the last uh, video I made, I went and painted something crazy on it. This is the circle jig, right? So I showed you guys that we put it in and then put a piece of styrofoam on there. We could turn it and then uh, we can make, you know, circles. So the next thing I wanted to do and try, and I always say it, if I can do it, you can do it. So I'm going to try. And if I can't do it, well, then you better do it. <laughs> so I didn't really care for um, this railing or jig or whatever you want to call it. It's pretty crappy in the sense. Like, I mean, you know, great, great that the, the company is awesome. Like, the machine is built very well. The problem with the jig is when you push against here, it moves. You can't tighten that down anymore. So you can see it just moves. And if you want a straight cut, it's just not right. So um, I've seen a couple of websites. Uh, I think there's a guy in the UK that I can't remember his name and I'm not going to give him a shout out if I can't remember his name because that's just the way it works. But he makes them. Uh, Black Magic Craft uh, was got himself these um, jigs and uh, he says they work out great. And I thought to myself, you know what? I build my own stuff and I'm going to do this one myself. So what I did, and I'll bring it down to show you. What I did was I grabbed a couple of scrap pieces of wood. And then again, these are the backings for clipboards that I had. So all I want to do is make a simple jig where um, this will go, this is your back. And this will be attached here. And that will be a straight, you know, perfectly straight angle. And then we can make straight cuts. And the thing with it is we could make higher cuts. So if you have a taller piece of styrofoam, we can cut it by bringing it along here. As in with the jig that they give you, if you wanted to make a taller piece, as you can see, maybe you can't, um, there's nothing holding it. So it'll just flop over and you'll probably get crooked cuts all the time. So I'm just going to make this one. So what I want to do is I cut this at 11 inches. Now 11 inches is as wide, well, I'm sorry, 10 and a half inches is as wide as I want to go. There's 11 inches of from this part to this part. Um, let me get you up there a little bit more. There's 11 inches. I didn't really care if it was a little bit longer. These clipboards have a round to them. And uh, you know what? Nah, whatever. No big deal. Once it's on here with the, the system is, is once it has that railing in here that goes inside these slots, it won't move. It has more room to get in there. Uh, another thing I want to do is at the end, I will be cutting a groove on the back side at the back so that if there is bigger pieces, it can get pushed through the fence because it'll be in the middle of it and it can go all the way up there. I would say maybe about five inches would be enough. Depends on how big these guys are. So 45s or nine degrees, whatever. Right, tiny, perfectly straight. We're hoping. Put them on the miter saw, and I cut them. So first thing I'm going to do is now again these things are not exactly perfectly straight, but with enough pressure and weight on them, they will stay down. So it has to look like this. Ten and a half, uh, sorry, ten and a half inches this way, and this top piece is only. 10 inches. I only need 10 inches. I don't need to go any bigger. Again, this was a scrap piece, so that's fine too. So what we want to do is we want to make this thing stable. So we want to put that like that. We're going to put two big ones. We're going to put a spacer in between. And we're going to put two smaller ones. This thing will be flush. So the first thing I think we're going to do is we're going to take our drill. And we're just going to take our pencil and our drill like so. And all I want to do is mark off um, where 
I want to put my nails. We're using nails and we're using wood glue today so that will make it sturdy. And then just for the fun of it what we're gonna do is just take because we know it's gonna be this long we're just gonna take our pencil and we're just gonna draw out the square of it so we know where where our nails can go in the center. Taking the small drill bit we're gonna poke four holes in the center of where we want to go. So very simple. We'll take four of these guys at least. Right. So we got our four holes. Now when you do this, it'll take out, you know, because this is that press board to board. I just take a sandpaper block and I kind of just smooth it out like so on both sides and then the bumps are gone, right? So next thing we want to do is we want to put our piece um, on. So knowing that we want more height, you guys can't see that and I'm doing it again. Let's keep you down here. So you want more height for leverage, for to be sturdy, we want to go as tall as we can. You could, after this, you could put a handle. The guys I've seen had a handle and all that stuff. That's up to you what you want to do. I think it's just basically, it's going to stay on my table all the time. That's the biggest thing I use. The circle cutter, yeah. I use, I'll be using for some things, but that's fine. I think we're good to go with that. So, next step is to put our nails, or excuse me, uh, is to drill our holes inside of pieces of wood we don't have to go crazy as in um, we don't have to go deep we just don't want it to snap right we just don't want it to, to fall apart on us so the best thing we'll do is we'll just line it up to where it's supposed to go make it flush take our drill and all I'm gonna do is put little pilot holes in it first Be best if you had a clamp to hold these down, I'm sure of it. Obviously, I don't. Okay. And then, last one. All right. So, once you've got that set up, you'll notice that your holes are in there. Um, what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to take our wood glue. And we're just going to give it a generous amount. If it wants to come out. Oh, we got some blockage in there. That's fine. Oh. Ooh, a little bit dry. All right, that's okay. We're just going to take an old paintbrush that we have here. There's a little bit of wetness to it. That's okay. And we're just going to give a, a good amount to where we want to apply our piece. Okay. Maybe a good idea is to do both sides, the bottom and this side where the nails will go in. It wouldn't hurt. Now again, a clamp would have been the best thing to have. Um, I might have to go out to the shed or the, the shop and grab those two. So we're just gonna add a good amount on there like so. And it's not much coming out of there if I don't get in there. <laughs> there we go. All right, so let's add that in there like so. And let's wipe it on. Doesn't matter if it oozes out. You know, more glue, the better. And we'll just drop that in there. Okay. Then we're just going to attach our piece as we had it. So, take our little nails, we're using, uh, I think these are one inch little finishing nails, and we're just going to turn this on its side, Oops. I'm going to get it started 
the first one started try to keep it straight when you bring it in you don't want these to go through all right make sure your board is oops I'm gonna pull that out one day why can't I find that hole there it is and there we want to keep that as straight as we can get it as level and we're just gonna start off by putting the first one in So now we have, uh, sorry, we have a piece that's standing flush. And in flush, I mean we have our perfect 90 degree angle. 90 or 45, whatever it is. Okay. Having this nail sticking out, what we're going to do after is we're just going to punch it in. So I'll continue doing this and I'll get back to the next step. All right, guys, so we're back. Um, this is it. We built it. And... I painted it black. So all I did was I took some, I just cornered pieces, two in the theater. It is pretty much, well, I'm gonna say it's a 40. It's exactly level. If there's a bend in it by a bit, I don't know. Whatever, no big deal. Simple to make. I'm gonna show you. So now, all I did was I nailed little nails. This is just a round dowel. And it fits exactly, I'm gonna bring it down into this slot there's two slots there's one here and one here so and what i did was i cut a, a piece in the back so what this is for is when i put it in if for any reason i had a massive sheet to cut you could see the back it will go right through and then i could still cut a straight piece all the way through it i mean it does kind of lean off to the edge but not enough to make a difference it could be held down and cut. So here we go, and I wanted to show you guys how how it's working. Um, basically, it is leveled to the lines that are on the Proxon machine. So even if it's off, and we're gonna call it a hair, right? Because that's what we do. It's still hey shop kitty. It's still better than having just that small piece. Here's the example. I have a big piece that with this i would never be able to run along because it would bend over it all right so making thin cuts let's turn it on and all you have to do really is hold down one end and we have ourselves an easy taller piece that cuts straight that's straight that's pretty straight and we could even go smaller if we want. Now, what I'm gonna do is make sure that I see that this line is, oops, don't do that. I can almost tell that this is off by just how 45 this is. So we're gonna let that cool down for a sec. Let's bring it against this. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring this out that's probably a better way to use it as a 45. I never thought of it. Look at that, it works even better. So we're gonna, now, it's even, it's even straighter than I thought it was. Yeah, okay, so let's keep on going. Let's cut ourselves a thinner piece and see how that works. So bringing it in as close as we want, yeah, just not never touching, you'll never, Go that thin. I, I can't see myself but going that thin. And then I'm just going to hold down this edge and turn it on. And slowly but surely, there you go. Check it out. Oh, let's shut it off. Oh, we shut it off. Look how thin that waffle is. That is awesome. That's like millimeters. And I'd say pretty straight, and, you know, for what I can see, could be off just a bit more. I'm not even 100% sure because these things are really hard to tell. It's hard to gauge because even, even with a, whatever you want to call this guy, um, it's a little bit harder to tell if it's, if you're perfectly in line. 
But I'm thinking now that I have this here, I can see that that's even better. I'm going to try one more cut, guys. That's what I'm going to do, see if I get a better cut on this. So like I said, I could just hold this this piece down this side if I really wanted to. I don't have to. And whoops. We're just going to run this piece through slowly. off oh see it touched that that's better that to me i can see it you guys can't really see it but i can see it. that's a lot straighter look at that that makes a nice thin whatever you want to do with it your, your choice so what did it cost me nothing absolutely nothing the paint's been paid for the wood i found the dowels it's been paid for the nails been paid for what did it cost me? Nothing. So, I am going to put a design on that. I'm going to do like this guy. No, I'm not going to put this guy. I don't know what the hell I was smoking when I put this guy on there. But, eh, it's cool. It's kind of cool. I'm going to airbrush something on here. Because I like doing that kind of stuff, right? No, get it all pretty. All right. That's my take on the guard or the railing or whatever you want to call it. Very simple to do. You know what? Any questions... If, you're in, if you have a prox on, any questions and you want me to explain further of how I did it, send me a message. Send me an email. We'll talk about it. Don't forget, guys, I put my tip jar at the bottom. Um, I want to thank everybody again for helping out. And, uh, yeah, if I could do it, you can do it. You know that. Choose your own path. Take it easy. On to the next one.